where the Trump campaign lawsuits stand today, Sydney? Well, there are suits filed in Michigan and Pennsylvania. They evidence significant irregularities in the voting process, fake ballots being brought in on pallets after voting closed, people testifying to having seen any sort of things from people writing Harris, Biden-Harris things on the side of a bus to, to ballots being uh, laying on the sidewalk, to ballots being put in a trash can. Always Trump ballots went in the trash can. Um, it's just stunning, Maria. And then we have statistical evidence that we haven't even brought out yet. Um, that's my next venture is to explain the statistical anomalies that show it was physically impossible for the election to have come out the way it did. It's just mathematically impossible. So for all people who love Sydney, science, uh, the math is dispositive. So are you going to you want to tell me more about that right now? Or are you waiting to discuss that? Well, it's it's a little bit complicated to explain, but we have evidence of the same number of ballots being injected in, or the same number of votes being in, injected into the Milwaukee and into the Wisconsin system and into the Michigan system three different times. I think there were there were two specific injections of exactly the same numbers in um, Michigan, and then in Milwaukee it, it happened three times. Are you, are you going to be have enough time to prosecute these cases and 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 get heard during this limited period before year end? Well, needless to say, time is of the absolute essence, but we only have to prove these claims by a preponderance of the evidence. And frankly, given the fact that a ballot itself is evidence, the burden should be on the parties seeking to introduce the ballots in their favor to prove that the chain of custody was maintained. And on top of that, we have multiple states who did not follow the law established by their legislature which is a whole separate issue. That's essentially what Justice Alito focused on when he issued his order regarding the Pennsylvania ballots that had to be separated from the night of the election. And they, there's no way they're going to be able to be counted because they weren't even in compliance with the law of the legislature. So we have four states that have deviated significantly from what the legislature told them to do in handling the ballot. Those all have to be thrown out. It's not a matter of curing them. They can't be considered at all. Attorney General Bill Barr sent out a memo Monday night uh, of authorizing Justice Department prosecutors to investigate specific allegations of voter fraud before election results are certified. That certification coming in December. Look, you're, you've got experience as a federal prosecutor. Do you think that the DOJ is going to find instances of fraud, will it be enough, in your view, to overturn what the media says is the result of this election? Well, if they don't, they're engaging in willful blindness because there is scads of evidence and testimony from any number of witnesses. I've lost count of how many they have. More pour in every day. I would encourage every American patriot who saw an irregularity such as a thumb drive being inserted into a voting machine during the tally and the tally suddenly changing to massive pallets of ballots coming in the back door in the middle of the night, not properly handled at all, and, and just cranked out hundreds of ballots that are even filled out in the same ink that were obviously manufactured. I mean, there is a ton of evidence that hundreds of thousands of ballots are going to have to be disregarded, and they're all for Biden. Hundreds of thousands of ballots. All right, before you go, Sydney, I want to ask you about this software being used. Was it the Dominion software? Now, we talked on the show on Sunday, and we discussed the potential of Nancy Pelosi's family having an interest in that software company, Dominion. What can you tell us? We are still investigating all of that and connecting the dots. There is a substantial problem with the Dominion systems because Texas even refused three different times to adopt and use those systems because they have inherent defects. Uh, one of our theories is that those defects were built in for a reason. There is Chinese software and other uh, components 
within those systems. And of course, China had, I mean, China has, has the greatest interest in the world in disrupting this election. I think it's entirely possible that the NSA and the, and the DIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency that General Flynn used to head, should be conducting their own investigation for national security reasons, because I think there's a high likelihood that it's China, for the benefit of Joe Biden, that did this election rigging.